Hey guys, first fan of the night. First fan of the night. Also, last fan of the night. Last fan of the night. So, His Metalness and I have spent the last couple days at the barn doing some organizing. We've had some new fan and organ stuff happening. And uh, for footage of that, go to patreon.com slash dspiffy. So we haven't been doing fan testing the last, our last day here and today. Um, but we had a little extra time today, and so we decided to start working on these project blenders. Um, I got two motors. Technically, I think three and a half sets of brackets if you count the ones from eBay. Mm -hmm. um, they're extra canopies. I, yeah, I got a is. bunch That's... of blender parts, two motors, and uh, the blades originally were broken, so I got some blades on eBay or something to that effect. Mm -hmm. um, so these are these are replacement blades, but they are essentially the correct blades that would be on there. Um, this is a CF. 523A, which replaced the CF523L, and I believe that change happened when they went from fiberglass to wood grain for the four blade ones. Uh, they didn't start calling these the Universal Series until 1981, and I believe this is a 1980. When you have when you have the K63 with the with the wood grain, I believe that's 1980. Uh, I suppose it could be 81. So this is either the last of the Casablanca series, because it wouldn't be a heat fan. The heat fans by this point were three blade. Uh, or it is the uh, first of the Universal series. I'm not sure. I've still been calling these a Rick blender because just the K63 four blade and Rick's first Rick blender was the one from CV Axel, which is this exact fan in brown. Pete disagrees that these are a Rick blender because of the flywheel and the wood grain. Uh, so we'll let Rick, of course, make the final call. Um, I think these could go either way because the fiberglass could be a deciding factor. I don't think the flywheel should matter that much because most of us didn't notice the difference until much later into collecting. Um, what else? His metalness had to do quite a bit of surgery on the blade arms and it's still not perfectly balanced, but uh, good enough for a video. And if we ever install these, we will balance them some more. Um, but he did a lot of hard work on this one. Um, because again, the motors and irons came from somewhere where I think they were just chucked in a dumpster or something like that. And that's why they didn't have blades, because all the blades were broken. So, um, yeah, anything you want to say your metal list before we get started? Um, no, I don't need to. Pretty much covered everything? Yeah. And if the camera angle looks different, it's because we've been doing some reorganizing at the barn. Let me know if you notice a difference and if you like it. I So far, I like it a lot. Okay. Okay, go ahead, your metal list. Here's low. You gonna attack the low? Uh, sure. Okay. I'm gonna either, or you can do it. Oh, a little wobbly there. Um, turn the lantern, not the lanterns, the uh, the Hanson on dim. Okay. I can do it, or you can do it. He's already headed over that way. Yeah. 0.71, which is pretty standard for these. Power factor of also 0.71. The amps and the power factor match. White blenders were much less common in my childhood. I don't actually remember where I first saw a white blender. I saw them, I just don't remember where. Okay, uh, 600. Okay, that's pretty easy, 150. Let's see, Rick brought us a lot of calculators. Does this one work? Yes. We might need it. Try to reach that pull chain, see what happens. So what, what, what do you say? This is the, the worst, worst day, day of my life. life. Bye, Bye fan stick. And I don't think I still can't quite reach it, so. Uh-oh, what are you doing? You need a fan stick that's 69% longer and harder. Florida fan stick. Florida fan stick. Triple X.
A little bit of a finesse game there, a Florida fan stick. Yeah. Not, not for the inexperienced fan stick user. I think Rick may have done some modifications to. Oh, there's Crunchables. It's like the claw. I believe in you. Sure, we do need a blade balancing fan stick. There we go. And finally, fan stick is the solution to all of my problems. 1.23, which is about what Rick's drew. Yep. 106 watts, still a power factor of 0.7, well, it went up to 0.72. Okay. I think of the of this type of blender with the uh, with the um, K63 and the uh, wood grain blades. Yeah. I think this variation looks good. White. Eight forty-five. Eight forty-five. So we're definitely over two hundo. Yeah. Two eleven. Okay, might be a little faster than that, but I don't know. It's just the reading I'm getting. No. No. I mean, that seems that seems about right. It, it's a little slower than than it would be if it was perfectly balanced. Okay. And these are not the fastest variation. The fake wood grain blades mean that they were designed to be a residential fan and not commercial. Oh yeah, true. Oh, it's still a little just. Oh, I got a 570. What happens if you get a little closer? Um, it decreases. Oh, not much different. Oh, I got a 610. 610. Okay, I'm getting used to this new, new, very retro calculator that Rick got us. Hold on. It's about 9,000. Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, that's how it does sound about right. We know these to be pretty powerful. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, time for spin down. I can't remember what else we tested recently that was two speed. Mm. But um, or maybe it was me and Rick testing that TOC. But the two speeds on this aren't bad. Like the low is pretty properly placed. Where, mm -hmm. like, unless I wanted a real, like an aesthetic low, you know, I wouldn't necessarily want to make this three speed or feel the need to make it three speed. I, you know, unless I wanted a speed like that. Yeah. Yeah. Watching it spin down, it's a little easier to tell. I think one of them is a little out of clock. It's the one that just passed me now. Right there, that one. It's the one with the silver screws. Well, like a couple of them got silver screws, don't they? Yeah, okay. a couple of them do. Well, I don't know how to tell you which one, but yeah, one of them's still a little bit out of clock. Uh, and I think it's out of clock the opposite direction as the, uh, as the one you're, this one's like bent like that way. You know yeah. what I mean? The other one is bent that way. And that's the hardest thing with blade with blade bracket surgery. 
Mm. It's when they're out of the clock. Yeah. yeah. It's that one. Now it's pointing towards the organs. Now it's pointing towards the Hanson. Now it's pointing towards the loft. Now it's pointing towards me again. That's the one that's bent a little bit like it's bent kind of the opposite right direction from the way it's turning. Okay. But you know, we'll worry about that in the future. Or the pasture. A lot of the ones that uh, farm and fleet wobble like this one, like about the same amount of wobble. Mm -hmm. Could be bent blade arms or could be just years and years of dust throwing them off balance. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure they don't clean them. Right. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good spin down on this. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna do what's next? Test rig? Yeah, deck. Where do you think it's gonna start? I think it's gonna start, uh, usually don't think these start real low. I thought I'm gonna say four. I'll chance it with three. All right. One, two, three. Come on, big money. Oh, Ooh, it's moving. Usually, I thought K63s just don't always start real low. Well, the Casablanca K63s start at like two or three. Okay. And this one draws about the same amount of current as a Casablanca K63, which is why I made that guess. And the oh. bearings seem to be in pretty good shape. Yeah. Well, I but, knew the bearings were in good shape at the spin down, but. Mm -hmm. Well, also, I rem now I remembered. Oh, so this is a smaller K63? No. No? No, it's well, a big fat one. Okay, because Casablanca has the one Smaller that one, yeah. It's well, not the same as a Casablanca K63. It's just drawing the same amount of current as a Casablanca K63. Mm -hmm. so no one's has the 1.4 amp K63. Yeah, I want, I want one of those pretty bad. Yeah, he said he just found it in the trash. I know. I helped him get it working again. I know. That's a really good... That's, one of, that's the Casablanca K63 I'm looking for. I only have one Casablanca that has that K63 at it. And it's a 42 inch. Yeah. So it's like a 42 inch Zephyr that just flies like a banshee for no reason. I won't, you know, I could put 52 inch blades on it, but it's so rare to find a K63 42 inch Zephyr that I feel like it needs to stay. Five. Okay, this is your aesthetic low. Yeah, that's how I used to have all my fans. Now it's a little slow for me. Yeah. But that six seems more like what I would want for like a circulatory low speed. Okay. Move a little air around, but no breeze. All right. Seven. Okay. I hope everybody has learned by now when you get to seven is when you put in your ear protection. Because this metalist is reading, reaching for the crunchables. And your seven is a good low. It is, actually. And Not a lot of controls start with seven, though. Right. That one in there, the Minka. I wonder if that's got the same K63 as this does. Because that's on a K63 fan, right? Yeah. That Casablanca Classic. I wonder if it's the same version. Yep, here is eight. Crunch, 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 crunch. Do you remember what that, uh, that Casablanca Classic draws on high? No, no, I think. Oh, if, it, if it's 1.2 or in the ballpark, then it's a similar K63. That's the... You don't have to crunch two things at once, you know. Nine. The only thing... So what if on 8, 12, and 20, you crunched and vacuumed at the same time? And then maybe played the drums. Could do all those. Vacuum, I just turn one on. I'm sorry, I suggested it. <laughs> just like, yeah. Cut. That's a bad wobble. Yeah, got that malaise wobble. It's a little bit more than malaise there. Yeah, here's 10.
11. I'm gonna hide these in my mouth. <laughs> Everybody get ready. This is the big one. And 12. Crunch, 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 crunch. <laughs> How you manage to crunch with nerds, I'll never know. I don't know. 13. Okay, now it's uh, stabled out. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Mm-hmm. I feel like something changed and made that harder to read. There we go. Can always add to the... 15. We're a little over what low would be. Yeah. 16. And this new setup works well because I think you can probably see the meter better this way. Mm -hmm. 17. Eighteen. What is drawn high? Like one point two three. Okay. Nineteen. Okay, everybody get ready. Twenty. Try to try. over on 22 you didn't even notice because of all the crunching yeah we are so it must have that because that's why i didn't oh it's interesting because that's exactly how a casablanca k53 k performs like a standard one mm -hmm. the 19 is as high as you can go and then they go over on 20 but yeah. those are much smaller so it seems like they just wound the larger motor like the smaller motor in this case okay but those also those casablanca ones are the same size as the 36 inch blenders and those are wound differently as well. So they obviously were just doing a lot of different stuff. So what control would you use with this? I think uh, I th think I probably would have used the 7, 9, and 16. Well, let's say you don't have access to that and you can't make your own control. Like of the really standard values, what would you pick? Probably use 6, 8, and 14. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, well, are we going to test for a low speed on this or no? We could. Okay. But, Try to reach it, see what happens. Oh, just too, too high up. I think it's funnier when you actually reach over the thing and still... Oh. Like, go up one more step. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's funniest to me. Reach it. Oh, too when, high up. Well... This is the worst day of my life. Bye, fan stick. You gonna try regular fan stick this time or no? Yes. Nope. Still too, still too high up. We need another fan stick. Time. We need like a slogan, like a time for fan stick XXX or something yes. like that. No. Now here comes dun, 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 like music stick. or something. Dun, 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 dun. Tubular fan stick. Tubular fan stick. What were we using it for last time? Because it's definitely set up differently. It, is that low? It must be. Yeah. It's no, that's high. Uh, it must not have pulled it. That's what she said. Uh, Once you have, okay. Bo. Okay. Fan stick. Fan stick is the solution to all of my problems. 
It's too bad you can't reach that pull chain while you're up there. Yep. Okay, where do you think it's going to start this time? I think it's going to start... I'm going to chance it with two. I'll say three then. One. Break your feet. Two. Three. Oh, you got it. I thought it budged on two. I don't know. It's hard to tell. It's very tired in here. Mm hmm Do you happen to remember what capacitors in the switch housing of the one of the K sixty three class Blanca classic? No. I feel like maybe a five is pretty standard for that. Let's take a look. Four. A little slow, but I wouldn't be mad if that was the low speed. Here's five. I bet you five is what's in standard in these. That looks about right. It does. It is six. Yeah, five or six will work. Yep. Which isn't that different from what it was on high either. Nah, not much. We're not there yet. <laughs> Seven. Everybody get your earplugs. And eight. Crunch, 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 Nine. Ten. Getting close. Eleven. Yep, I think. I think it's right on. Let's see. No. We're oh, it's a no nose hair over. No more crunching. How sad. Yeah. No. <laughs> Vacuuming. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna have a vacuum set up the next time. The next time we do a test video, he'll have a Power Max or Power Mate just right next to the test rig. Would definitely be interesting to plug in the vacuum and see how much the voltage drops. Okay. What happens if you try to reach that pole chain? Nope. Too high. This is the worst day of my life. Bye, fan stick. Nope. This fan stick is still too short. Well, why don't you try Florida fan stick? which is 69% longer and harder than regular fan stick. Ah, looks like it's a little bit loose at the... Uh... Right. Well, do me a favor. Uh, use Florida Fansick to stop the blades and we'll just do zero to high. Okay. What do you think? Big inrush, no inrush, small inrush? Big inrush. I'll go with no then because these are rarely small. They're either big or no and, and very rarely in between. Okay, and go. No. Nope, I guess not, but that's okay because we have Florida Fansick is the solution to all of our problems. My problem, sorry. Okay, so it went up to 1.23 and 2.5. And back down. Back to 2.3. Okay, well, uh, I guess both of us got it wrong. I'm not used to these having a small inrush. <coughs> Seems like either they have a bigger or a medium, but I guess they can have all three. So I guess we just can't predict mm -hmm. K63 inrush. Okay, 
Last up, we have the solid state test. Yep. We start inching it up. Yep. I'll turn off your uh, blower fan for a moment. Might as well be done. That's nice. It's almost over. Don't even hear the outside light. No. Well, I hear something, but I can't tell if it's fan, ballast. Fan. I think what I do here is the outside light, actually, yeah. but it's not the fan. No. Okay, well, that's silent. We forgot to guess, but that's silent. I suspected. Do you remember if that K63 one in the enclosure was silent? I think so. Any reason you didn't put it on a variable speed then? Well, that was kind of my whole thing. Everything in there is is uh, capacitor-based? Except for the Caribbean Breeze. Because which, there wasn't a good capacitor base control for it. Yeah, unless the fan is not. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Like the designer, I can't use a four speed with. Yeah. I have to use a three speed. Plus those tend to be a little loud on the solid state, don't they? I thought that's the 1895. Yeah, but I thought the designer is, maybe I'm wrong. It's, it's very tired in here. Yeah. Okay, anything else we need to test? No. Okay, well in that case, it is time to thank our, our sponsors. sponsors. Um, you gotta go get, uh, uh, something while, uh... Yeah. Okay. So, first of all, you guys got to see Fanstick and Florida Fanstick, which are two of our most important sponsors, and now with Fanstick Mini. Yep. To find out more, go to buyfanstick.com, fanstick.biz, lightstick.biz, and for Florida Fanstick, which is 69% longer and harder than a regular Fanstick... Really? Go to buyfanstickxxx.com. Uh, I haven't had dinner yet, which is a real shame given how late it is. Yeah. I have a sandwich at home that I picked up earlier today. But you know what I wish I could be eating? Yes. Taco, Taco Burrito, Burrito Mexico. And then I would wash it down with a nice, refreshing... Sperry. Sperry. Uh, as always, our videos are lit in part by the Good Manufacturing Company. We didn't need excellent lighting. We just needed good. We got to play a little bit of Rick or Sheep tonight. If you also want to play Rick or Sheep, you too. All you have to do is go to rickorsheep.com. And, of course, you heard from our other sponsor, 81220LLC, where our motto is... Crunch! Crunch! Is that all the sponsors? That is. And now, a word from Metal Jonas. Oh, those doorbells. Doorbell. And organs. <clears throat> Marvelous. <clears throat> doorbells. Uh, you looking for anything in particular, Metal Jonas? Yes, uh, would you happen to have any homestead catalog? What do you think about House on the Rock, Jonas? Oh, House on the Rock. Oh, one word. Incredible. One word. Wow. One word. Magnificent. One word. Overwhelming. One word. Marvelous. One word. Amazing. One link. Patreon.com slash dspiffy. Two words. Bye, Bye fanstick. Three words. Thanks for watching. Yep.